and it contains several offices and departments of the mission. According to him, on the day of the dedication, the cost of the building was faith. In 1979, Benson recalls how the Lord spoke to him in a vision of a new direction. Take a step higher, the Lord said. I want a ministry for body, soul, and spirit. That vision will be called Christian Faith University with a threefold emphasis in theology, medicine, and agriculture. A preacher by manifestation and God by action. Amen. He believed that a ministry without education will go to the winds. The then Christian Faith University, now Benson Idahosa University, BIU, has the largest educational center from kindergarten. That is, the World of Faith group of schools with branches spread across the country. The first set of students into the Christian Faith University, BIU, listened with air of ecstasy as the Chancellor revealed the code of conduct upon which CFU was built. A vision many laughed and thought impossible had become a reality. Technology without Christ is a defeat. Science without Christ is a defeat. Education and knowledge without Christ is a defeat. In all you do by human achievement. Because if you miss heaven, the better you were not born. If everybody call you a guy on hell, and you go to hell, the better you were not born. If all the money on this earth belong to you, and you suffer the loss of your soul, the better you were not born. But you'll be able to say happily if you know Jesus. Let the walk go forward. When we go, when our life on earth is over, I will hear God say, Well done, my servant. When the Archbishop went to be with the Lord, like Elisha, Archbishop Margaret Benson Idahosa took hold of the mantle of her husband. A transfer of prophetic anointing on the woman, the man called Mama. She was with him in the inner court, bringing down the gates of the enemy and setting the captives free, sitting through the battles, the thick darkness and the pains. They both, holding hands together, worked to see the Church of God mission to what it is today. She had learned to develop strong leadership capabilities of her own. Under her leadership, the Word of Faith group of schools now has 104 schools nationwide. The Christian Faith Institute of Continuous Learning has metamorphosed into the Benson E. Dahosa University with full accreditation from the National University Commission, New Oha Campus, and rounds programs in the management of physical sciences, law, engineering, and nursing. It also runs a PhD, MSc, and PGD postgraduate programs. The Deborah of our time, mother, leader, mentor, counselor, has continued to inspire all, thereby continuing the great works of Archbishop Benson Idaosa. Indeed, the legacy of Archbishop Benson A. Idaosa lives on.
Thank you very much. That was a refreshing time listening to Papa over and over again. Thank you. While that was going on, we have some of our guests who just arrived. First, we have the Bishop of the Historic Miracle Center of Church of God Mission International, Bishop Wale Ajayi. You're welcome, sir. We also have guests of the Chancellor, Bishop Nusa Onaiwu, all the way from Dallas, USA. You're welcome, sir. We also have Pharmacist Julie, all the way from Las Vegas, 